on here now so you can see me. As I've shared before, crystals helped me immensely, immensely move into who I am. It was something that I use like as my gateway. It's like my gateway drug almost. If you can be the healthiest kind of addiction, <laughs> crystals has helped me really step in and open me up to my spirituality and owning that and getting on my soul path. Like it like pulled me in, the crystals pulled me in. I'm gonna talk about how that happened and why that happened. So I'm going to be sort of in this, um, talking about it and explaining and sharing with you the top five crystals in my experience that are going to help you on your journey. It's kind of like a crystal starting kit. I wish I knew this when I first jumped into it because I was so overwhelmed. There's so many directions you can go with crystals. So it's really good. This is a really good base for anyone and everyone to, you know, look into. And if you're going to think that you want to start with crystals, this is like the best place to be so let's get into it so why crystals why crystals why crystals why crystals i'm going to bring this up and if anyone's watching just give me a shout out who's here i see a couple people watching give me a shout out who's watching um love to interact with you as much as i can throughout this demonstration about crystals but why would we want to use crystals in the first place isn't that a good question? Why are we so crazy? Why am I so crazy about them? It's because crystals are, they are created from Mother Earth. Let's just get real. Mother Earth is a badass. Mother Earth knows what she's doing. So we got Lindsay and Suzanne watching. Hi, ladies. Um, Mother Earth knows what she's doing. Mother Earth knows, right? And if you think of it in the next step from Mother Earth, Mother Earth was created from source, right? The, that place that, that the above, the God, whatever name you want to use it, is a, is a result. Mother Earth is a result of that. And Mother Earth's creations, um, the formations that she makes, the elements that she makes is all from source. So it's pure source to me. And therefore, source equals truth. So in life, when you're looking for direction, I go straight to Mother Nature for direction and for guidance. And there's always the way that mother nature works is always speaking to us it's always telling us a story and crystals are that crystals are energy so that's why i love them they're pure uh energy without any you know there's no they're not manufactured it's not something that we've tapped you know um got humans have gotten in and made yes there's like versions you can make with crystals, but these are literally from Mother Earth. And so therefore they have this unique foundation, this unique structure. And I'm gonna get into a little bit of the, the science behind this because it's really what it is. Yes, yes, is it, can you call it woo woo? Sure, whatever, but I don't really, I don't like to say that because this is just legitimate truth. It has to do with the law of resonance, which also is like intertwined with like the law of, of uh, attraction, which you hear a lot of. Um, in the in the realms that we're um, going on in your spiritual path, right? Unique vibration. So crystals are literally energy and they each have their unique source energy, their unique, unique vibration that they give off. And in that vibration, it resonates with, if you're familiar with chakras or not, and if you're not, that's okay. But it all has to do with us, too, because we're, we're energy, too. And we have all these different energetic centers within us. And they all vibrate at different frequencies, at different um, wavelengths, at different speeds. So these crystals also vibrate at a certain speed, energetics, wavelengths. Okay, so crystals... They aren't human though, right? What's the difference between our energy and crystal energy? We are ever changing. Our energy fields are always changing. They, they go up, they go down due to our emotions, due to our environment. We're always changing. But crystals, okay, I'm looking, and this isn't a crystal, but crystals, I'm just going to grab this one. 
these, their energetic footprint does not waver. It is perfect. The, the foundation, if you look in a microscope and you get down and you look teensy, like way far, you can see that the, the structure of the molecular structure of the pro or the energy, the atoms um, of this, of this crystal are perfect. So the structure is really perfect, meaning um, symmetrical. So when things are symmetrical at that level, at the atomic level, it gives off a very stable energy, a very stable energy. So I have a mandala um, here, if you can see this. This mandala is sacred geometry. In this specific element is the water mandala. So this is the sacred geometry of what a water molecule in its perfect form looks like. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. When you look into and you get into the molecular level of what is going on in a crystal, their, their structure atomically is like perfect, right? It's like this beautiful snowflake that's perfect. And in that is stable, it's stable, it's stable energy. So that's how we can use crystals to help us tune up. So it's like, they act like a tuning fork. It has to do with the law of resonance, the law of resonance, okay? It all is interconnected. So we, we use food as nourishment, right, to feed our body, our physical body. So crystals are kind of like our nourishment for our energetics, our energetic field. Is this making sense, everyone, kind of where I'm going? I just want to give a quick little class of why crystals and why do they work? This is just like... The, the legitimate um, explanation, the scientific explanation. Now, they, I didn't know that when I was drawn to them, though. I was just drawn to them because they something, something spoke to me about it. It's like they had this message because it was so clear. It was so clear to me, and that's what drew me in, and it kind of opened me up, and I was curious about it. I mean, that is how truth talks to you, and that is what truth feels like. It's just is. It's very soft and firm and, and, and unwavering when you get to truth, right? So crystals are a form of that. And it's all from source. It's all from Mother Earth. And it's all, um, each crystal has its own unique energetic frequency, blueprint, you could call it. Is this making sense, everyone? Let me know if, if, if this is, if this is uh, resonating with you and making sense. So that is like the why of like why why do they work? Aren't they just, you know, some people probably think they're just like a rock and they walk by a rock and they're like, no big deal. I mean, I don't understand. But if you really get into the, the energetics and the science behind it, there is, there is something to it, right? So that's how we can use these beautiful tools from Mother Nature to help us, to aid us in our lives. Because when we're out of tune, which happens a lot, it happens a lot because we're, we're human beings. We have emotions and we're not stable in our energy. It's always changing. We can use these specific crystals to help us in these uh, aspects in our lives, these places where we're out of tune, when we're out of tune, because in each chakra, each chakra has its own unique vibration that lives within us. Each chakra has its own unique, unique vibration. And let's just go with here, your solar plexus. When that is out of tune, it's not, uh, it's kind of like too low or too high or it's out of whack. You can, again, because this is yellow, I'm kind of jumping around here. Where are you, guy? Where are you? So the citrine, citrine is what? Yellow gold, right? They're, they kind of color coordinate to the chakra system. So you can use your color-coded crystals. They you, Most of them all kind of work that way to help tune up in that solar plexus. It's going to help you. It's a roadmap. Like chakras are a wonderful roadmap to understand what's going on with you. And your crystals, which are very similar to that solar plexus, the citrine is very similar to the vibration of what your solar plexus should resonate at so you can use these to help tune you up to tune you up and help you with the law of resonance with science will help because this is energy it's giving off that very stable energy 
And that's why I fucking love these guys because it's truth. It's pure truth to me. And um, also, or Soma behind me, you know, the bottles, that has crystal energy in it as well. So it also goes um, as far as these kind of vibrational uh, tools is as um, like oils are kind of the equivalent to that in the liquid form, because where do they come from? They come from plants, from, from flowers, essential oils come from Mother Earth. Again, the, the frequency, the vibrational pattern the at the atomic level is so perfect and stable. And that's why how oils work too, like essential oils. And that's what orosoma is. And color is the same way. It's very, it's it's got its unique frequency and that's what it is. And that's how you use all these to help you move forward and tune up and support you. This is energetic support in the best way without popping a pill. This is from mother nature. And I trust Mother Nature. I don't know about you guys, but I trust Mother Nature. So that is a really quick round robin of how crystals work and why I'm really into them. And I just love having them in my environment because it tunes your environment up too. It it, it stabilizes you and kind of helps carry you. This is making sense, my ladies, who's on Lindsay and Suzanne. Isn't that cool? Did you guys know that? Did you guys understand it in that level of how crystals work? Let me know what you're thinking. Because we're going to get into now, because I can go on and on and on about this. And I might do another like separate class to do um, about crystals if people are interested. Because I could really go deep with this. But I want to really just give you the understanding of these next five crystals that are going to be really good for you to have in your toolkit. And this is where it gets fun because I get to play show and tell with my little babies here. So they crystals to me are like real. Like I talk to them, <laughs> you know, I'm, like, I'm not ashamed to say that because it's like so real. It's 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 live energy. So why it's always communicating to me. It's live energy. Energy is everywhere. And these are specifically very stable, so you can tune into the energy. And and crystals are great for intuition exercises too, because there'll be a reason one will stand out to you. Grab it, touch it, hold it, see what it makes you feel like, see what comes up. There's a reason you're attracted to it. It's energy. You're having this energetic exchange with the crystal. So it's fun to play with your intuition with this. So we're gonna go into the first um, crystal that I think is really awesome to have in your tool kit and that is smoky quartz i'm gonna do my best i'm gonna take this other thing off here i'm gonna do my best to show to show you guys um as i go through just take this off get out of here oops hang with me okay smoky quartz Smoky quartz is a really uh, great crystal for grounding, like I have um, in the little headline there. It's your grounding stone, and it helps. I mean, most crystals really do help with negativity and helping clear. Pretty much all of them are going to help do that. This one specifically is for your grounding agent, and you can see it's darker. So doesn't it feel kind of earthy and grounding? I mean, that's that's the vibe it gets. Obviously... You can get smaller versions of these. This is just a bigger one that I have that I absolutely love and it has all these points on it. So sm smoky quartz. So be writing these down if you have a pen and paper and you're looking for like which ones to get. And you can see like it has like these little points. So you can get them individually like this or in like tum stump, ugh, cannot talk today. Tumbled stones, which look like this isn't smoke. This isn't smoky quartz, but you can get them in all kinds of shapes and shapes and sizes. Smoky quartz is the bomb. Love my smoky quartz. Also on that level, because I couldn't choose between the two grounding that I the two grounding stones I use the most. And this is um another one called black tourmaline. God, this is tricky. Black tourmaline. This has uh, this is actually black tourmaline and quartz combined, but you can see um, right here, that's the black tourmaline. This one is really grounding too. You can see 
this piece right here, it's really not see-through. It's very solid in its blackness. So I feel like uh, the difference between the smoky quartz, gosh, the smoky quartz here and the black tourmaline, it's really personal preference of which one is calling you more, um, which one feels better for you. But I feel like this one's a little more heavy duty because again, it you can see that it's just more solid black. So it's a little more... Um, I feel like a little more grounding, a little bit more substance to it, a little more depth to this stone, the black tourmaline. So those are two that I would say to have in your uh, in your crystal kit because they're really good grounding stones. So moving on to the next, we have, we're gonna talk about citrine. Oh gosh, here we go. Sorry guys, where are you? Citrine, okay, so citrine is your creativity, abundance, and personal power stone. Isn't it pretty? So citrine, so this is, uh, this is another version. They come in so many different versions. Um, but the, the, these are all in natural form. And then you can get the polished stones too, which is actually that first one I showed you. So you can get them in polished stones too. They all work. You get to choose which one spe speaks to you. But this is really going to help with your personal power, your creativity in abundance. On the chakras, it's you can see it's kind of gold. So it's in between these two, like the, the navel and the solar plexus. So it's going to help in that area. Creativity is the orange and personal power is the yellow. Those two things and abundance and manifestation. That's where that all comes from. So, and it's a like, you know, great to have. Um, like I have this in my studio, my hair salon, because this is where creativity is done and abundance and money exchange. So this is a great stone for that specific purpose, that specific, you know, if you're looking to tap into your creativity and if you need a little help with boundaries, personal power, that's gonna help. That's gonna help you with your sense of self too. Your citrine crystal. Any questions, ladies, about those? Any questions? Just holla in. Okay, we'll keep on keeping on. The other one moving up that is a must. Everyone must have this guy. Rose quartz. Rose quartz. So this is your unconditional love stone. It's so soft and loving and it's all about self love. It's the heart area, really good for the heart. It, this is awesome to have um, in your bedroom for relationships. I have this in our bedroom. I have four little small rose quartz um, at the bed posts underneath our bed. And I swear my boyfriend thinks I'm crazy, but I don't care. It's true. This is energy. Energy doesn't fucking lie. Okay. Energy doesn't lie. Um, I felt the difference. I felt the difference when I put those there. And then I have rose quartz on our nightstands too. So you can use this for relationships, for heart base, for self love, for self care, um, coming in a natural formation. This one has been cut and polished. You can see how shiny and perfect it kind of is. Um, this one is a natural stone, which I always love the natural because that's how it shows up in from Mother Nature. So this is rose quartz. Definitely everyone should have this one. It's a beautiful stone. You can put this in your bath to tune up the water to rose quartz, the energy of rose quartz and self-love. It's a beautiful stone. Everyone get it. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, so moving on from your rose quartz. I love my crystals. Okay, we're going to the transformative stone. This is also a, everyone needs this one too. Amethyst, isn't this guy pretty? I could just stare at this all day long. So amethyst, everyone should have amethyst. Amethyst is your calming healing stone and it, it helps with transformation too. It's higher, it's, it's gonna be the higher mind functions 
So more up in the crown area up through here, it's your spiritual stone. Um, it's more of the higher mind, like I said, the, the higher chakras. It is also known, amethyst is also known as the, um, what's it called? In, oh my gosh, my words are not coming today at all. The, uh, it helps with addiction. That's the word I'm thinking of. So it's the um, stone known for like, uh, oh my gosh, intoxication. It helps you not be drunk. <laughs> I'm not saying that right at all. It It's definitely for like, if you have problems with addiction, OCD, it's helping calm the mind, basically. It helps calm the mind and make you sober. The sober stone, that's what the hell I'm trying to fucking say. Oh my God. That took me a while. I think I need this stone to just like chill the fuck out. So yes, amethyst is amazing. I have this in my bedroom too, because it's going to help you sleep. It's a really calming stone. I also uh, kind of relate this to your lavender oil. Um, really calming, really soothing, healing stone. This is your healing stone. This is what's in, which I talked about a couple videos ago, the biomat that I have. It's all full of amethyst stone. It's it's really good for calming. So everyone get amethyst. You all have to have it. They're so amazing to have in your house. They just set the energy. I love them. And moving on from that, I have the next one. So clear quartz. Everyone should have clear quartz. And this is a natural formation. It's not perfect in the way it's carved. So it's got all these intricate pieces to it. And this is how I, I mean, this is me. I just love, um, I just love all the, the little nooks and crannies and crystals. Um, what would we would consider imperfections on ourselves are just really beautiful in a crystal form. So this is a reminder when you look at the natural form of how the weather shaped everything about a crystal, and every little nook and cranny only happened because of specific elements in nature. Maybe storms came through or who knows what. And they created this, these little, little distinct qualities that make the crystal just so beautiful and unique. So if we can just remind ourselves that we are literally like this too. And every little nook and cranny and every little bubble and every little thing, when it's a little cloudy down here, it all is part of it and makes it what it is. But it's perfect in what it is and the uniqueness of what it is. So that's why I love crystals too, because they tell us a story of how to see things, how to see things. Like I can find the beauty in this, then, then it's like a mirror of finding the beauty in me and the uniqueness of me. But back to um, specifically the clear quartz, this is really going to help you with like clarity. You know, it's clear, right? So clarity, um, it's an uplifting, uplifting crystal. If you're feeling foggy, um, kind of sluggish or whatever. I like these to kind of just give me some energy, uplift me. And also, oh gosh, I'm bleeding. I think one of my crystals cut me. Interesting, huh? God, this is a really fun video. Um, another thing that's really cool about, I'm going to be a nerd here, okay? Uh, the quartz is programmable. And this is what's so cool about this. Clear quartz is a programmable crystal. And that's why everyone should have this too. So intentions are powerful. You hear me talk about intentions are really powerful. We can put our intentions into this crystal. And that's what crystals also are said to have stories programmed into them from ancient, from ancient knowledge, from our um ancestors way way back there some of the uh, Lemurian crystals I don't know if you know what that is Lemuria that's a whole nother topic but it's like Atlantis you know this these cities or uh, islands that existed a long time ago and it's said that in the Lemurian quartz crystals have been programmed messages and knowledge and they're starting to surface through the earth right now and they have messages because the reason back to science why this is programmable this is so cool this is going to blow your little socks off um the reason that this is programmable is because it's made of silica so silica okay that is in your computer okay so what is in here is also in our computers and that's like those little microchips that we use um and we save data on it that's what this is that's exactly what this is too 
So you can see how you can, like with intention, you can save information in here. You can save an intention. So with this crystal, if I'm setting in, an intention to, I don't know, like my intention is to find self-love. I, I love myself. This is a love crystal or this is an abundance crystal or this is uh, whatever you want, whatever your intention is. You can mm, zing, zing it in there and it will hold it. And when you want to reprogram it, you just clear it. And, and then you can clear it by using just water. You can clear it using sage. You can clear it using um, orosoma's white. Just put a, a dop of the white pomander. Clear it, reset it, and reprogram it. And it's going to give that vibration of the intention off into your environment, into your world. You know, you could wear it on a necklace. Obviously not this big, but if you want to, go for it. Um, they have necklaces, clear quartz ne necklaces that you can program with an intention and it will hold that. Science. I love this. I love crystals because it brings it to, to science and you can, it, it, it makes it real. It's not woo woo. It's not woo woo. This shit is real. So crystals are here for us to help us. And like I said before, um, I started getting involved in crystals because I always used to talk to nature. You know, like I'd be the girl that's like talking to a tree. Like I'd stop, I'd be with a bunch of people and I'd stop and I'd just like look at this tree and I would just like seriously like look at it and have a conversation with it. And I would do that with rocks. Always, I loved rocks. I'd pick them up and they just drew me in and I would talk to them and I just, I was kind of like, why am I doing this? But it's literally an energy exchange. And if you've heard me say before, the way that spirit, um, when if there's like a, a past loved one, loved one or guardian angel or sedent master or light being or whatever, they're wanting to come and locate you here on earth. They're not going to look for your physical body. They're not going to call your name, your name Janelle out. They're going to look for your 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 frequency, your energy, your your blueprint, that wavelength that is is key, a signature to you. You're the only one that has it. That's how they locate you. So spirit uses energy like that to communicate. And that's what this is. That's what Orsoma is. That's why I love these elements and these tools. And that's why I incorporate them into my life. And that's why I'm speaking about them and teaching and inspiring all of you about looking into this and start incorporating this these things into your life because it's, it's truth. And if you want to be on the path of truth, why not surround yourself with truth, nature, things mother, another mother nature provides for us every day. And that's where um, if you can go out and do nature walks, I mean, that's where sometimes we can really connect to our truth really easily. It's because we're in the vibration of truth. It opens the portal for us. So crystals can help you do that. And that's what brought me into my path was that. And it was kind of like my gateway of um, my strip tees, my spiritual strip tees was to start having crystals in my house and I started bringing them to work. And it was like this, um, this, this subject that people asked me about and it was tangible because crystals are a real thing, right? And I can talk about them and people can see them and they can touch them and you can talk about what that means. And it was like a way for me to start coming out, you know, and sharing something that was tangible and maybe not like so out there that I felt confident using these or letting these guide me through and like finding my path. And it's led me here. It's led me here. And it all started with really crystals, crystals. Isn't that funny? So that's really everything I have for today. Well, I didn't want it to go too long. Um, I have plenty more and it was really hard to decide which ones to talk about today but these are the essential basics and then once you have those you can kind of start branching off because there's a million there's so many and that's where it can get addictive but it's really fun really really fun so that's what i have is there any questions for anyone that is on live today about what we went over anything you'd like to share about your experiences with crystals I'd love to know. I'll hang on just for a second. I think there's still two people on for sure. And I totally cut myself today. Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> 
Any questions? No? No questions? Okay, dokie. Well, then I am going to wrap it up. And if anyone has questions moving forward, if you want to know more about this, or you would like to have like a one-on-one -on -one about what crystals might be good for you or how to start, you know, if this was overwhelming for you or not, just send me a message and I'd love, you know, I can talk crystals all day. So just reach out to me and then we can set up a time to kind of talk and go over some other options for you. Okay. Thanks ladies. Have a wonderful day and I will be in on Monday. Bye.